This was me a little over two years ago. And this is what my teeth looked like. I know, pretty bad. My mouth was severely overcrowded, so crowded that before I even got braces on, I had to have four teeth removed. That was fun. If you're in the same boat that I was, you're not alone. Over 4 million people in the US wears braces, and of those 4 million, 25% of them are adults. I wanted braces for years before I finally decided to pull the trigger to get them. The biggest thing that had stopped me, not surprisingly, was the cost. The average cost of braces in North America ranges anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000. In Vancouver, British Columbia, where I live, the average cost is $8,000 to $9,000, and most dental plans here, including most, if not all, student dental plans, don't cover adult braces at all. This left me with crooked teeth for most of my 20s while I was a student and for the first few years after graduating when my salary was barely enough to pay my bills, my rent, and my car. And this had consequences, both physically and mentally. While it may seem that braces are purely for aesthetics, this isn't the case. In fact, the main reason that most dentists recommend that you get braces is for your oral health. Having crooked teeth means there are more places for food to get stuck, making it difficult to keep cavities away. And this was definitely the case for me, having dozens of cavities throughout my 20s. Could I have brushed more? Probably. But I knew that until I got my teeth fixed, this was just going to keep happening. It turns out that having crooked teeth doesn't just affect your physical health either, but your mental health, your love life, and even your career. A study commissioned by the American Association of Orthodontics reported that over a third of Americans are unhappy with their teeth, believing that a better smile would lead to a better life. It gets worse. The study also reported that bad teeth represented the biggest dating turnoffs amongst men and women, with 77% of women thinking that crooked teeth were worse than a receding hairline in a potential love interest. On a professional level, 78% of Americans perceived adults with crooked teeth as less successful. Even without seeing these numbers, I already assumed all of these things, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. As a teenager and a young adult, I was always self-conscious about my teeth, and I would try to hide them by smiling with my mouth closed or putting my hand in front of my face while laughing. Just before I turned 30, I decided it was time and I booked a consultation with an orthodontist. They told me I'd be looking at a two-year treatment plan and gave me a cost estimate of close to $8,000. Just over $2,000 of which to be paid up front and the remainder to be paid on a monthly basis, which worked out to $285 a month. This is a big chunk of change for sure, and it's understandable why so many people go without dental work even though they need it. Fortunately, at this point in my career, I was at a place financially where I was able to do so. So I booked the next step, which was getting four teeth removed prior to getting the braces on. The teeth I had extracted, I had done by my general dentist, not the orthodontist. So fortunately, that was covered under my dental plan. Otherwise, that would have been another close to $1,500. Next up was getting the actual braces on, which was done in a couple hours and was totally painless. So here we are. I uh, just finished up with the appointment and my braces are on. Uh, it feels weird. It feels very weird. It feels like I have a mouthful of metal, which I do. What was more painful was getting used to having them on. Not painful in the sense of physical pain, but just with dealing with the annoyances of having braces on. For starters, they're a magnet for food and anything and everything that you eat will get stuck in them. Which meant getting used to a new oral hygiene routine. I think one of the things that having braces helped to reinforce in me is the importance of having patience and consistency. As with anything meaningful in life, seeing results takes time and sacrifice. Seriously, I didn't eat tortilla chips for over two years. If that's not sacrifice, then I don't know what is. But as with everything, time passes and life goes on. Appointments go by and you start to see change. This was honestly so satisfying to see as I could see that the hard work and the persistence was starting to pay off. 
in saving up for the braces themselves, putting up with the adjustments and the pain of the screws being put in. Yeah, I even had these temporary anchor devices put in to help move my teeth even more. Those sucked. All of this was coming to fruition as it was time to get my braces off. All right, so I'm just getting to the orthodontist now and today I'm gonna find out if I actually get these braces off. I personally don't think I'm gonna get them off today. There's a tooth at the front that's not quite straight. I don't know if you can, probably can't see it, but you know, I, I, I honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get them off today, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I didn't want to get my hopes up, even though they had already booked the appointment, as I knew that sometimes these things got delayed. What's the verdict? They're coming off. <laughs> That's awesome, babe. <laughs> there you go. They're off. Yeah. They just gotta do a couple touch-ups and then you're good to go. Yeah. All right, uh, I was wrong. I got them off. It feels really weird, not gonna lie. My teeth feel super slippery and it just feels really weird not having any wire or anything in my mouth. I mean, it's been two years now that I've had these braces or that I had the braces on and uh, yeah, uh, it's a good feeling. So here we are, about a month after getting braces off, several days of teeth whitening and a couple fillings later. And honestly, it feels great to have them off. I do have a permanent retainer in the bottom of my mouth and I also have retainers that I need to wear at night to ensure that everything stays in place. I have to say, although it was totally worth it, I am really glad that the dental work is over. A lot of appointments, a lot of pokes and prods and just a lot of fun in general. I want to address the fact that some of the things that I outlined in this video and the costs may be a little unsettling for some of you that are in the same boat that I was in. But regardless of how straight or crooked your teeth are, your biggest asset is always going to be your value as a person, a romantic partner, and as an employee. Sure, having better teeth may help land that new gig or it may make a better impression on that person you've had your eye on. But at the end of the day, all of that will fade if you have things to offer as a genuine human being. In fact, I met my fiance before I even got my braces on and well, that worked out pretty well if you ask me. So if you're in the same boat that I was in and you're in a position where you're able to do something about it, then by all means do so. You're not going to regret it. But regardless, there's always something that you can do to improve yourself today. So go do it.